Hello YouTube, we are back for a quick upload in relation to Captain Arrow. Now, it's going very well, I have to say, all of the pages are leaf casted, as you saw, and I'm going over each one of them. The issue I'm having is right here with the first wrap, it was in such horrible condition. The leaf casting came out fine, but I am having a problem with it still being very brittle. And pieces actually are unfortunately falling off. And this is the only wrap that I'm having a problem with. And right here we have an issue as well because this is a very delicate part of the book. When I say delicate, I mean that it is in a condition where it is still very fragile. So I wanna support this area. And the way I'm gonna do it is we're gonna do something a little different. And in fact, a piece just flaked off right here. And as I said, this is the only wrap that is giving me problems. Here is the piece that just flaked off and we're gonna put that back in. So how am I gonna do this? What I'm gonna do is we're going to do this for the first time. I am going to do a methyl cellulose treatment dry and a Tengojo support of the first wrap. So how are we gonna do this? I have a roller here, this is a foam roller. We're gonna put it in and I am gently going to paint with the new methyl cellulose that I made. I am going to paint the whole wrap and then we're going to apply, excuse me, this is not opening. I'll be right back. Okay guys, we are back. I'm sorry about that. So I have the, the container open and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip the roller into the methyl cellulose. So here we go. And I'm going to gently roll the cover or the first wrap, I'm sorry, with the methyl cellulose. And we're going to paint it. And then hopefully this will strengthen the wrap where it will not break apart. So the more methyl cellulose I think under this circumstance is better because as I said, this is the only wrap that I am having an issue with. So we'll give it a nice coating and then we're gonna put this between the cold press and hopefully it will dry stronger and it will have a nice resilience compared to the way it is right now because I'm not happy with this wrap alone. This is the only wrap that I am not happy with. So we did that. We have the nice methyl cellulose on the first wrap and now what I want to do is I want to reinforce the troubled areas and although it's something that I don't want to do it is necessary in my opinion so right here I have a nice large piece of Tengojo paper and I am ripping it to shape. And we have to put a piece right here so we can secure it. And I know it's a big piece, but it's a necessary element that we have to do in order to conserve this book for the future. 
And then I'm going to put another piece on the other side, which is necessary as well, because it is a troubled spot. We will be able to see through the graphics with the Tengojo paper. And we're going to put one right here. So let's put a little bit more methyl cellulose to get that in. And we'll trim it later once it dries. And let's see about putting the other section on that little piece. I'm going to do that off camera because I have to get very close. So stay tuned, guys. I'm going to actually wait for this to dry. And we're going to do it, like I said, with the cold press. And then I will be back and we'll see how it turned out. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, we are back with the first wrap of Captain Arrows. Arrow and last upload, what I did was I rolled out methyl cellulose on the first wrap because I was a little unhappy with the texture or the flexibility of the wrap. And here it is now after the treatment with the Tengojo paper installed. As you can see, I, I do have to trim it. It does create a slight haze on the graphics. We know this, but for this wrap, it was having a difficult time becoming supple. Now, I like the flexibility a lot better of the first wrap. It still has to sit underneath my cold press after I cut the Tengojo paper. In fact, let's cut it now so we can eliminate that task. And then what I'll do after cutting the Tengojo paper is I am going to put this wrap underneath my cold press and we are gonna keep it underneath the cold press for a good few days. And after it being underneath the cold press, I think we're gonna be in good shape to start assembling the book. So let's cut that off just like that. That's one little piece. We got a piece on this side I put. Let's cut that off. And it's, it's amazing how strong the Tengojo paper is. Even though it's thin and you can see through it, the strength is amazing. And it is something that is very important to the conservation process, in my opinion. And now what will happen is we will have a first wrap that is more supple and something that we can work with without fear of it falling apart. So again, a little wavy. This will all come out after we cold press it, but I'm happy with the second treatment that I performed with the methyl cellulose cellulose and rolling it so that's it for this upload guys we're going to put this in the stack and we're going to dry press it and we're going to make it nice and flat let it relax and then we're going to get ready we're going to start curving the spines putting the staple holes in and we're going to start putting this book back together remember this was the worst wrap out of all the wraps but we're in put, pretty good shape now. I'm very happy with the results. So thank you for stopping by and stay tuned.